Hello everyone, um, thank you for joining me again. Now today I'm doing a stew. You may have seen in the last few days um, me and Simon reviewing the Brooklyn Black Ops. Um, and I thought, yes, now here it is. So we're going to do the stew with it. We managed to reseal it with another cap, quite a good cap. Um, and we found that there was quite a lot in there to drink. So I'm really, really happy that we're going to get our money's worth with this beer and make a stew for the whole family. Um, so here's everything. I'm ready to go. You ready? So my cooking isn't all that special, but this is a special beer. So I'm quite happy to do this today. Right then, let's go. Let's get everything in. First of all, I'm going to put the beef in. And followed by, I'm just going to shove everything in. Now I've got my green beans in here today. Um, I would normally suggest you put these in at the last minute, but I've got peas which I will do last minute and they're nice and crunchy and they just add a bit of texture to your meal. I'll do that later on today. So, um, don't have many veg, forgot my swede. I'd leave my head at home, but yeah, forgot my swede. Um, so it's just potato, carrot, onion. Would normally use leeks, but couldn't find any. Typical. So let's get this all in. So I, I wonder if anybody's actually had, had stew with black ops before. So now this should be sealed back down, so let me try and open this again. Oh, yes it works, I'm glad, happy about that. So let's pour this in, you watching? Oh it smells awesome this beer. Get the rest of that out. There we go. So I need to add the water now. I've forgotten to boil the kettle, so we're turning you guys off because <laughs> that's going to take a while. Um, okay, so this is, I'm just adding my stock. Uh, I think we're going to probably need just a little bit more water in there, so I should get that. I always use boiling water at this point to help it get on its way when we turn it on. It's actually on already, so I thought we'd let beef to stew in the bottom for a little while. That smells amazing. I'm just getting like hints of that imperial stout shouting out at me. And then the, uh, the stock smells pretty good now too. That whiskey, whiskey barrel. I think, or bourbon barrel I should say, it's going to add an interesting flavour to this stew today so I'm quite looking forward to it. Right, I think we're all set. I think that'll do. Mm, maybe not, just a tiny bit more. There we are, that'll do it. So, we're ready to go. Now I'm going to leave this to stew all day. Add some peas at the final minute. See you guys later. Okay, we're back. Um, have a look at this. Now this is stewed all day long. So it's quite a different look to it now. I'm going to add these peas in so we're ready to eat in about five minutes. Why are you adding the peas so late? Because you want to keep them fresh and they add another whole kind of texture to your meal. I need to get my spoon. <laughs> Right, so this, literally now, is just going to warm the peas through. Um, look at the colour of it, it's still dark. I'd like to say as well, the bourbon aroma has emitted from this all day long. Okay. Morning. Okay, here we are, we've got our stew. We've all got some, Molly, have you got some? Mm-hmm. Annabelle, you got some? Mm-hmm. 
Good. You're eating yours already? Good. Good. Okay, so. It smells let's good. Go for it. Let's go. I'm just going to go try a bit of gravy first. Yeah, me too. What do you think, Molly? What's it? Oh. It's lovely. Oh, that's yummy. It's better than gravy. Is the it? beef is better than the gravy. Okay. Mm. Are you getting any of the bourbon flavour? Yeah, I am. And then. Um, and some of this. It's not as bitter as I thought. No. It's no. nice and. Uh, Whilst I was cooking, and you could smell all day long, you could smell the whiskey, the bourbon all day. I was worried it was going to be quite bitter. Not bitter at all. Max out of ten, Molly. How many? Um, two. Um, ten. Ten. Good girl. Annabelle, how much? Ten. Yeah. Ten. Good girl. Oh, actually, it's one hundred. One hundred. One hundred. So Molly's five. Annabelle's two. Going to be six and three soon. Mal's um, however old Mal is, and however old I am. But uh, um, this was filmed in two thousand thirteen. See, bye bye, kids. Bye. Bye bye, kids.